C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. On the train, the crowd was in an uproar, Zhou Tian sighed inwardly. This isn't F asterisk King Spring Festival, why is it so crowded? Just after Labor Day, a large number of office workers who had returned to Jiangbei bought the cheapest green train to save money, causing the entire carriage to be packed and noisy, filled with the smell of instant noodles and men's stinky feet, suddenly. Clang. The train jolted, scaring everyone. Zhou Tian staggered and lost his balance. He fell forward, feeling that he had hit a large ball of cotton. It was soft and very elastic. What are you doing? You little hooligan. A spicy female voice was heard, Zhou Tian looked up, what he bumped into was not cotton, but the chest of a beautiful woman with heavy makeup. The beauty in front of him was wearing a light and refreshing outfit. She wore a thin, beige shirt, and on her lower body, black stockings. Zhou Tian swallowed his saliva. Was this what people often called a short skirt? Big sis, yes, yes. I can't. Who are you calling big sis? Do I look that old? The beautiful lady in front of him said unhappily. Say, say. Sister. Zhou Tian then addressed him in a different way, the beauty opposite of him immediately flew into a rage as she shouted angrily, who are you calling Mississippi stinking brat, it's fine if you don't apologize, but you're actually scolding people. Big guy, judge. Is this kind of person a hooligan? The passengers in the coach were all interested in the boring trip, so they started to criticize Zhou Tian. Sigh. This brat really doesn't know how to talk. He actually scolded me for being such a good person. People these days are too lacking in quality. After bumping into someone, you didn't even say a word of apology. You acted like nothing happened. If I were the girl, I would have slapped her a long time ago. Zhou Tian was completely dumbfounded. He had been at the monastery for 18 years and had devoted himself to cultivation, not knowing anything about the world. Now that he had just descended the mountain, why did the title, Miss, suddenly become a curse? The beautiful woman in front of him had a lifeless look in her eyes, her four limbs were weak and her pupils contracted at times, sometimes slow, sometimes fast. Zhou Tian took a glance and discovered that this woman was actually that good at doing things. He was also infected with a vile disease. He immediately calmed down. With a cold expression, he blurted out. Beauty, you are sick. The beauty at the side was stunned for a moment before rebutting, who's sick? I think you're the one who's sick. You're crazy. The spectators were all thinking of tearing Zhou Tian apart. Not only did this brat offend others, he even said that a beauty was sick. He didn't look like a good person at all. The few older brothers on him immediately rolled up their sleeves as a sense of justice exploded within them. If Zhou Tian continued to make any more moves, these nationalistic youths would rush forward to beat him up on the spot, however, Zhou Tian looked at the beautiful woman with a serious expression. Indignant black, dark skin, often feel abdominal pain, even sleeping unsteady, is it not? Zhou Tian gave the diagnosis result, the beautiful woman's body trembled slightly as she was shocked in her heart. And then she said, so what? With your current state, you're still treating people. If you can see a doctor, even sows will climb trees. Everyone followed the laughter and the atmosphere in the carriage became lively as countless people started to mock Zhou Tian. These days, there are many swindlers. Everyone says that they will see a doctor. Yeah, one of the doctors dressed like a country bumpkin. If he can see a doctor, not only can a sow climb a tree, but I can also crawl from one end of the carriage to the other. When Zhou Tian saw these people, he remembered his master's words that IT was easy to treat an illness, but hard to treat the heart that he stared into the eyes of the beautiful woman, staring intently at her, causing her to feel extremely flustered and at a loss for what to do, Zhou Tian said coldly, you don't care so much about your body. You have three diseases on your body, the first is mammary gland hyperplasia, when you hit my head, there was a hard lump inside, 
the second was soft tissue contusion, not long ago, you should have fallen down and hurt your arm. The third disease, he paused and did not continue, the beautiful lady before him had a pale face and was sweating profusely. You, you. How did you know? Everyone was puzzled as well. Breast hyperplasia was not hard to understand when you hit your chest just now. However, you could tell from the soft tissue contusion and fall. You can figure it out by pinching your fingers. Could it be that this brat had been following a woman all this time although what Joe Tian said was all true and he had slapped the faces of everyone who was present to eat, that person who was walking around the car on his back was still forcing his words, he, he. It's just that I got lucky and guessed correctly, so it's no big deal. I don't believe that he's a doctor. Zhou Tian smiled. He's right, I'm not a doctor. I am just a young Taoist from the Three Purities sect in the Central South Mountain. Master gave me the name Nanchuan and told me to go down the mountain to gain experience and complete the Great Road of Cultivation. When these words were spoken, everyone was shocked, the woman who was holding the child in her arms asked, the Three Purities Monastery that was less than 50 kilometers away from Jiangbei province. N. Zhou Tian gave a positive reply that at this time, everyone took off their colorful eyes and began to admire them in their hearts. The Three Purities Monastery was a place of great pros and cons compared to those higher level medical institutions. The Three Purities Monastery was shrouded in a layer of mystery. Why did he say that a small Taoist temple had such a great reputation that I in the Three Purities Monastery? There lived a godly doctor. It was said that he was able to make elixir of life after receiving the legacy of the medicine king, legends were legends, but no one had ever seen this genius doctor's true appearance, many years ago, this godly doctor sent someone to post a notice at the foot of the mountain that his life wouldn't be long in coming and that he would take a disciple to teach him what he had learned throughout his life. Many parents send their children up the mountain for a one. Year exam after a year, the godly doctor had left only one orphan. As for those children who descended the mountain, with a shake of their bodies, they all became divine doctors. In the past, the best child had now become a famous doctor in the capital, the Sodot called famous doctor of the capital was only the child who had been eliminated that year. Then how strong would this youth who had received the true teachings of the divine doctor be? Little godly doctor, what about this beautiful woman's third illness? Don't keep everyone in suspense. A busybody jeered, Zhou Tian's words reached his mouth, this, what little genius doctor. It's a scammer. Stop playing tricks on me. I don't have that kind of illness. The woman lost control of her emotions and started to sob softly. She had always suspected that she had AIDS, but she didn't dare to go to the hospital to check. Now, hearing the tone of the little Taoist from Zhong Nanshan, she was afraid that she really had that incurable disease. But this disease, in front of the public, even if they really had AIDS, the beauty still wouldn't dare to admit it, Zhou Tian then slowly produced a black ball from under his armpit and said with a smile, this is a spiritual medicine that has been refined by the sun and moon. It is very effective against your illness. The beauty looked at him in disdain and cursed, I knew you don't know any medical skills. You really believe in your evilness. It's impossible for me to eat the filth on your body. Zhou Tian didn't say anything after hearing the beautiful lady's resolute rejection, before he left, the old man told him that treating the patient was a matter of fate. Your fate with the patient had yet to arrive, so you shouldn't force it. That's right, young lady, your breast hyperplasia also doesn't need an incision or treatment. I'll rub it for you a few times, will you be able to recover soon? Zhou Tian added. Rubbing her chest, initially, the woman had listened to the discussions of the crowd and thought that this brat truly had some ability. But now, it seemed that he was just like those stinking men who were talking to her, and wasn't anything good. Crazy bastard. With a curse, she moved to another carriage and dodged away from Zhou Tian. My name is Zhou Tian. If you want to live, you can find me in Jiangbei. He still left the beautiful woman a chance to live. Soon, the carriage returned to its previous tranquil state. 
There were still two hours until they reached Jiangbei. Zhou Tian rested his arm on a seat and placed a cloth bag he had brought from the monastery on the ground. The young woman from before followed him and said, Sir, my home is Yunchen, not far from Zhongnan Mountain. We're still from the same village after all. The child next to her was only two or three years old, quiet and quiet, looking out of the window. As for this young woman, her figure was round and her skin was white. She looked like a young wife, and her maintenance was very good. Then where are you going? Zhou Tian asked. To Jiangbei, where my husband works. This time, the child and I are going back to Yunqing to visit our family. Oh. Zhou Tian was never used to chatting like this, the young woman immediately asked softly, Sir, I feel like vomiting. My hair is dizzy and I can't muster up any strength. Do you think I might have some sort of illness? Zhou Tian looked at the young woman's rosy face and revealed a happy expression. She didn't seem to be sick at all. He frowned. Is it convenient to take your pulse? Yes. The young woman stretched out a white arm and placed it on the box beside her. Zhou Tian lightly tapped with his right hand, and the pulse became stable, but, Zhou Tian asked in surprise, Is this child yours? Yes, I was born of my own volition, how could I not know? Congratulations, madam. You are finally happy. What do you mean? The young woman was stunned. From your pulse, I can tell that you're pregnant. Ah, the woman's face revealed a surprised expression, Zhou Tian paused before continuing to ask. If you are pregnant and have given birth to a child, why do your pulse indicate that you are still a virgin? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.